Welcome to the Brian Murray Show, a real estate show, New Jersey style. Memorial Day weekend special. Normally on uh, Memorial Day, the pool right behind me here would be filled with water. We'd be getting ready to open up uh, on Saturday for Memorial Day all the way through uh, Labor Day, the official summer as it were. Uh, but today's uh, discussion point is about pools. Uh, in a, what's going to happen with the pools? Here we are, we're missing Memorial Day. There is no pool in New Jersey. Uh, if you own your own pool, maybe that's the case, but if you live in a condo building and they have an awesome pool or two, well, you get no pool. If you uh, belong to a pool club, you get no pool. Uh, we're really hoping that that will change very quickly because uh, what's summer without a pool? Uh, it's a sad summer. But how does that affect uh, property values? Well, I think that people mainly understand that the pool is, is coming, um, eventually it will be open and that'll be the case. And so uh, as a renter, uh, rent, renters will pay about the same amount as long as this doesn't drag into the summer. And for, um, uh, you know, for owners, it's really important to be able to use the amenities such as the pool. Uh, it's great to have something where you pay a little bit in HOA and you get uh, all the maintenance of it. I used to live in a home and own a home that had a pool and I'd have to clean the pool and I have to go to the store and I have to buy chlorine for the pool and I'd have to skim the pool and I have to make sure everything is running and what happened uh, when the electric went out and I'd wake up one day and it would be, uh, you know, it turned green uh, from the blue water because uh, something stopped working or something got clogged or you're pulling out a dead frog or even worse from the filter. So here I just wake up somebody opens the gate and I go and I use the pool and I kids use the pool and they come home and we don't think twice about it so there is a lot of value to someone else owning the pool except in this particular case where if you owned your own pool you could be swimming in it right now uh, this is uh, Memorial Day weekend and uh, I am certainly looking forward to when I uh, give you the July 4th uh, weekend special that uh, will be coming here from uh, where there'll be nice blue water in this pool and it'll be uh, there'll be people in the background and towels and lots of suntan lotion and you know it'll be summer again uh, so that's today's discussion point today's hot topic is outdoor space here it's May 20th and I'm seeing more and more uh, buyers looking for outdoor space sellers who are going to be buyers looking for outdoor space but specifically locally outdoor space is becoming a significant premium maybe it's just because we're all locked up but um, you're going to start to see that uh, there's a lot more competition for units with even a small space to sit outside so if you're if you have a home that does not have outdoor space uh, expect that it's going to take longer to sell and the prices are going to be at a little bit of a discount to somebody who's got a significant outdoor space or even a, a terrace. So I'm looking for uh, the outdoor space that typically uh, a normal small terrace with the two seats would add somewhere between uh, twenty dollars to $30,000 on the price of your home. I'm looking for that to be up an additional $10,000 um, just on that. If you have a large terrace, you might be up again 50% on on your, uh, your outdoor space valuation. Even more so than that, I think you're gonna get a lot more buyers that are gonna be in the market, uh, definitely looking for some, uh, some space. And if you have a yard, um, you know, you're gonna see a premium there. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily gonna translate into the brownstone market quite as well because um, already people who are purchasing uh, a brownstone are doing it for the outdoor space. Uh, you may find that some people who would consider a three-bedroom apartment now looking more in the brownstone area simply because they're willing to give up the parking in order to get the outdoor space. Um, but again, uh, this is uh, today's hot topic is all about outdoor space and what it means today in the uh, lockdown, what it's going to mean post-lockdown. Welcome to the Ask the Expert section with Joe Berg of Pinnacle Mortgage. Joe is uh, my expert in all things uh, residential mortgages. 
And so today, Joe, three quick questions for you. Number one, um, the whole world's changed with uh, COVID. What's changed in the mortgage process? Uh, very, very slight changes. Uh, we've had little, a little bit slower on appraisals, getting the appraisers into the house. Uh, you want to watch the keyword forbearance on mortgages. You do not want to have a forbearance if you're shopping for a loan because of the minimum six month wait until you can apply for a new loan. So that's very and the so uh, closing, closing dates. I, Joe, I don't want to cut you off, but if you're a seller, does that mean that if you have a forbearance, you know, that you're not going to be able to just turn around and buy? As of right now, yes. You do not want to be in forbearance if you have a current loan. Okay. I don't know if that's going to change. There, we're still figuring this out. Yeah, sure. As of, right as, now, of, as of May 20th, though, you know, don't do the forbearance. Got it. Do not do the forbearance if you are selling and currently paying a mortgage. Got it. All right, that's, that's uh, super good. And then uh, regarding closings, be ready. Watch your employment. We are getting up to the minute pay stubs prior to closing and checking with your employer to make sure that you are not on furlough or laid off. So it's very important. The employment check is happening and it's happening literally up until the day of close. So you want to make sure that your job is intact. Got it. Okay. The second question is, um, are you seeing any uh, types of loans that are more difficult to get during the, this COVID period? Well, some of the loans, uh, they, they raise the FHA requirements, the lower credit scores, anything below 640 is very difficult. Jumbo loans have been slightly difficult to get. They've definitely raised the requirements on them. And, and if remind you are me, remind buying the a jumbo, what the, uh, jumbo loan is. Any loan amount over seven sixty five six fifty. So and if you are borrowing nine hundred thousand dollar purchase on a twenty percent down. Yes, pretty much. Okay. And anything where you're borrowing more than seven sixty five six fifty will require twenty percent down. Gone are the days where you're going to be able to get that ten percent down jumbo. Got it. Got it. And, uh, you know, uh, and you're still doing them though. Uh, yes. With 20% down. Absolutely. Great. Great. And then the last question everybody always wants to know from the mortgage person, what about rates? What are rates doing? Uh, conforming rates in a perfect situation are below 3% again, you know, any, any loan amounts, five, 10 or less, you can get a rate of two and three quarters, 2.875. You know, obviously you have to meet the credit guidelines and the income guidelines and the property requirements, but in a, in a nice situation, you can, you can get yourself 30 years at 2.75. And, and so that, that's typically purchases up to about 620 or so, it sounds like. Um, what about the- Yeah, uh, your loan amount needs to be five, 10 or less. And what about the jumbos? Uh, jumbos, they can be interesting. They range anywhere from three to four and a half percent. Uh, a lot of people who are doing jumbos right now are looking at the arms. The arm products are in the low 3% range. Excellent. Excellent. Um, any final... Because that's stagnant. A five-year, seven-year, and ten-year arm. A any uh, final uh, thoughts that uh, people should know here on May 20th? Uh, I would just, again, stay away from forbearance and make sure when you apply for a loan that your job is secure talk to your employer ahead of time let them know you're applying for a mortgage as long as you know that your job's secure and you're not in forbearance the process has pretty much stayed the same great and what's the best way to, for people to reach you uh either on email jberg at pinnaclemortgage.biz or uh give me a call 201-214-8393 anytime great thanks joe Thank you. Take care. Today's good, better, best. Good. Uh, that amenities are starting to open again. Maybe not the pool, but uh, and maybe not the gym, but uh, some of the common spaces are starting to open up again. Um, barbecues are opening. It's Memorial Day weekend, so that's super exciting. That uh, that 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 could be good, better, and best that the barbecues are starting to open and people can get out and grill. Um, even better is the fact that, uh, you know, they do seem to have some movement here um, in the beaches are starting to open. Um, and then the best is that, you know, I've been talking to some of my friends across the river 
uh, in uh, New York and they're starting to see a little bit of movement as well in the real estate market um, while realtors still aren't able to sell there are um, deals starting to to uh, work their way behind the scenes at this particular time so life will get back to normal and it's slowly starting to go that way both uh, in New York and New Jersey so it's the good the better and the best in the meantime everybody stay safe Today's inspiration for Memorial Day, um, if you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want will be the sacrifice. Thank you so much to all of the Americans who have made sacrifices so we can be here today, uh, this weekend, even though it's locked down, eating hot dogs and hamburgers um, and wearing our red, white, and blue. I know I always wear red, white, and blue for Memorial Day and 4th of July. Can't wait to do it again. This has been The Brian Murray Show. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I do appreciate um, you following me on social media, Instagram, YouTube. Every episode of The Brian Murray Show is on uh, the murraypropertygroup.com. Uh, please do leave comments. I love your comments. And if there's anything that you disagree with, please reach out to me directly and I'll show you why you're wrong.